Do you have a dream of living an international experience? Or do you limit yourself by not following that dream because of feeling fearful or insecure? Or is it that you're already living that dream but you want to improve your English so that you can feel understood and included in diverse international environments? I'm Parisa and you're watching English Round Table Talk, the place to be for non-native speakers to speak English confidently and communicate effectively in multicultural international environments. But what does that mean? I know exactly how it feels like to have a dream of living an international experience. I also know the challenges of living in diverse environments and how to deal with feeling excluded or insecure. These feelings can stop you from showing who you truly are and your skills. And I have been there. I have both studied and worked internationally in different parts of the world such as the Middle East, the US and right now Italy. And I know very well the pain of not feeling included. But I didn't want to waste my time waiting for society to accept my labels that I hadn't chosen for myself to feel included. And that's why I tested and developed strategies to start to feel included. For the past eight years, I have worked specifically with professionals working internationally to do the same by improving their English communication skills. As Dr. Jordan Peterson says, communication is one of the most important skills that we can learn. Speaking English confidently and communicating effectively are the skills that can help you feel more included and overcome the challenges of living in diverse environments. And that's the mission of this page. The goal is to show and communicate the best version of yourself with others so that you can make an impact and connect deeper. On this channel, we'll be talking about adopting the right mindset, the English language in a practical way as a tool, and finally, the skills that you need to develop on this journey. One of the most common mistakes non-native speakers make is that they believe just learning and knowing the language is enough. However, only focusing on the structure of the language is not an effective way to communicate because we are forgetting about the most important part of a communication and that is and the feelings. How do you feel in the learning stage? Are you filled with joy and love or fear? How do you feel when speaking to other people? Do you feel confident or insecure? What feelings do you convey to other people? Sometimes even without knowing. This was just an introduction video to this page. If you're excited to learn more about the different steps and stages of this journey, subscribe to this channel and join the community so that we can grow together. You can also help grow faster as a community by liking, sharing, and commenting on each of the videos. In this way, you help the message to spread more so that we can create more inclusive environments together instead of waiting to be accepted by society's outdated rules. Comment, I'm in, to show your support. And thanks for watching and see you in the next week's video.